Hello, brothers and sisters. I just wanted to take a moment of your time to talk about a couple of subjects, if I might, that are extremely important to our union members, both active and retired. Over the past oh, six months or so, 220,000 of our fellow citizens have died from this pandemic. And this pandemic has not gone away. Over the next couple of months, it's going to get much worse because we won't be able to stay outside, socialize outside, talk to our friends outside. We'll be driven indoors because of the bad weather. And when that happens, all of the experts predict that this is going to get much worse. This is not a second wave. This is the original pandemic, and there is no vaccine available right now. It will be at least until the end of the year before any vaccine will be made available. And once it is, it's probably going to take six months or more for any positive effects from that vaccine. So the bad news is that this is with us for a while, and I'm urging you, our members, and your family members, your friends, and your neighbors, anybody you have influence with, please take every precaution possible because we have lost UMWA members during this period of time. We have had UMWA members become ill with this virus. I do not want to see another person that I know die from this. I was in a region of Appalachia over the weekend and I read in the paper comments from some of the citizens. One said that this is just the flu. Another said this doesn't exist. Brothers and sisters, both of those comments are wrong. We have to be honest with one another and part of my job is to tell you that. We can stay safe. We need to get by another few months here. And when this vaccine is available, if the doctors, the scientists tell us it will work, you'll hear me urging you to, to get the vaccine. But we can't do that yet because it's not available. But let me tell you something else that's sick, and I need to be honest about that. And that's the coal industry, and quite frankly, the economy at large. Millions and millions of our brothers and sisters and other unions have lost their jobs. There's somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 to 40 million people that had a job previously that do not now. Unemployment is running out. Congress has not extended the benefits from the original legislation. It looks like it's going to be some time after the election before anyone deals with this. You've heard me say Congress act for our brothers and sisters in other industries. I'm doing that right now. Please, Congress, whether you're Republicans, Democrats, please think about our fellow citizens out there. We cannot stand additional unemployment. However, it looks like that may not happen. So let me urge all of us to think about where we are right now. I'm going to urge you to vote here shortly, and I'm not trying to tell you who to vote for by any means, because we have not endorsed any particular candidate for President of the United States. But this year, we have seen a 40% decline in the utilization of coal. I know people who have been laid off personally in the coal industry, and it is difficult for me to accept. As I look around this country and see mines closing, people losing their jobs, people working short work weeks. And we just went through a bankruptcy at Murray Energy at the largest privately held coal company in the United States of America. Those of you who are working in the mines, where the other occupations were, where the bargaining agent, I know what you've been going through and I know how hard it is. But this entire economy is suffering right now. People are facing evictions by the millions across this country. Their health care is running out, and this pandemic is upon us. So my message to you, if we're going to have a strong democracy, we have to participate in it. 
So I'm urging you to vote. You can vote early. You can vote by absentee ballot in some places. And in some locations, you can vote by mail. But you certainly can vote on election day. And the other thing I'm going to urge you to do, we must accept the results of that election if we're going to have a democracy. So with that, let's participate in our democracy. Let's fight for one another in this union. Let's fight for our brothers and sisters who are really in a struggle at this time in other unions. Thank you and may God bless you and your family.